Hi, welcome in. April 28th, Samuel. 1 Samuel 11 verses 1 to 6 and verses 11 to 15. The king looks good. After Samuel had introduced Saul as king to the people of Israel, he explained the rights and duties of a king and wrote a list of them in a book. Not long afterwards, Saul heard that an enemy of Israel had threatened the town of Jeb Jabesh. When Saul heard this, the spirit of the Lord took control of him. He was furious and gathered men from all over Israel to fight the enemy. Saul and his men went to attack the enemy at dawn, and by midday Saul's army had defeated them. Then the people of Israel said to Samuel, Where are those who said that Saul should not be king? Let's get rid of them as well. No one must die, Samuel said, for today is a day that the Lord rescued Israel. Does God always also bless my bad decisions? It seemed as though Israel's decision to have their very own king had not been such a bad idea after all. Saul had hardly begun his reign when the Israel ar ar army went out and defeated an age-old enemy. Saul's first victory. Although Saul seemed to have, for, have gotten off to a good start, we are able to take a peek at what lay ahead. If you turn to 1 Samuel 16, 1, you will see that what God said about Saul. God can and will do whatever he has planned to do, with or without our help. If we do things that displease the Lord, he finds other ways to carry out his plan. God may well decide to use a bad decision as part of his plan, but he may also choose to do something completely different. Either way, the person who decides to do things in his or her own way and not God's way loses out on the joy and blessings of being in the will of God. First for today, this is a way that seems right to a man. Excuse me. There is a way that seems right to a man. But in the end, it leads to death. Proverbs 16.25